what's up YouTube you checking out the frequent flyer and as you can see I'm out here with this TIE fighter Star Wars TIE fighter from GearBest and this is the transmitter here and I just gotta say that I have flown this thing already last night and this thing flies awesome very excited about this thing the way it flies I like the way it flies excited to show you guys how it flies it has these large uh, gear props on here a little larger than the Saima um, X11. These props look to be larger than the Saima X11 in width. Anyhow, they seem to be more thick, well, well, wider than the Saima X11 props. Give it enough power to enough, uh, gives it enough power to actually fly well. <laughs> and I, I could barely talk. <laughs> I'm so excited about this thing. And it, it only has red lights down the bottom here and there's a red light inside and it constantly flashes every so often to simulate the firing of the weapons down here so right here and here let me see right here and here there's two lights there that flash to assimilate firing of a weapon and this thing flips it does so it does flips in all directions now, let's just get to this thing and uh see how it flies I did have an issue. I did have an issue with the battery uh, not fitting all the way in there. The it comes with a 380 milliamp hour battery that's kind of long, but I actually was able to fit all of my other batteries, even larger ones. Right now, I have the JJRC um, X31's 400 milliamp hour battery in there. And so, check it out. So we're on low rates now. You can see the simulation of the firing of the weapons and look how stable this thing is. So we're on low rates now. This is the yaw. The yaw is really slow. This is the pitch. Can get going on low rates though. We're on low rates. Flies nice as you can see though. Okay, we're on mid rates now. Check it out. So this is on mid rates. It's flying this well. Check out the flips. It even flips while it's moving forward. <laughs> A side flip while it's moving forward looks awesome. Whoa, we almost went down there. I didn't give it enough throttle. So let's go to high rates though. So we're on high rates now. You can't hear any beeping or anything when you're switching rates with it though. Check it out in high rates though. <laughs> this thing is pretty awesome. Right out here. Got a bunch of noise coming from over in the construction yard. Guess they're getting busy with some stuff over there. So the yaw rate isn't very fast, but the pitch is so deep that you can actually do fast turns with it. This is the best funnel you're going to be able to do with it. <laughs> I just think it looks awesome. The simulation of the firing of the weapons as it's coming towards you. I haven't been able to figure out which protocol this thing is on. <laughs> so finally, a Star Wars ship that actually flies fast and looks awesome. Outdoors too. And there's a mild wind out here and it's handling that with no problem. I was flying it last night 
and it was more windy than it is now and it was having no problem on high rates to cut through the wind and all doing flips and everything so this thing's awesome let's bring it front and center now the right shoulder button it does something but it you lose control of it it just uh, hovers when you hold that button you can't give any input on the sticks I don't know what that is and the instructions manual seem to be in full Chinese or whatnot <laughs> so can't really determine what that button is the left shoulder button makes it do flips it seems like it's getting a little sluggish it is very cold out here so that could be affecting the battery I was getting a great flight time out of it uh, last night with the 380 milliamp hour battery so I would think that this 400 milliamp hour battery should be better but it does feel like it's getting a little sluggish I can feel that I'm getting low on the battery but as you can see it's still flying fast and all just having a little more problem with the wind but not so much though I know it's a little dark out here you can hardly see it <laughs> I'm trying to fly it up in the air so you guys can see it better but I just couldn't wait <laughs> I'm out here early morning flying this thing Bring it in close so you guys can see it. Hopefully you guys can see that. After that, uh, all of the air hogs uh, models that came out for Star Wars, I just didn't think that it would be able to fly as well as it's flying now <laughs> you know, it's getting it's getting a little wobble to it now when I turn hard the battery is getting low it still flips though you can see So this little top fighter is awesome, man. <laughs> now I think at LVC one, and it just at LVC it just goes down, and the light stays solid when it's at LVC. Oh, it's, well, this is LVC now. You can see it flashing now. It looks like the battery hatch is open, so it's flashing now rapidly, firing the weapon. <laughs> I don't think I can land it on top of that pole, so I'm just going to land it right here. Attempt to anyhow. Nice landing. So that's it. The Star Wars TIE Fighter from GearBest. Awesome little flyer. Very happy about the way it flies. Thanks for watching.